how has Thank You Water grown from where it was when you were just trying to get that first run, you know, out and into yeah. the shelves of stores? Where is it today? And, and what impact has it made for the people who you're inspired to help in the first place? Yeah, sure. So um, in the last five years, we've actually rebranded from Thank You Water to Thank You. Okay. And now we're... No, no, it's good. <laughs> um, we're now funding um, food projects and and health and hygiene projects. So we're selling um, muesli, muesli bars, oats to be able to fund a week's worth of food to someone in need um, for each product. And then we're selling a hand wash and lotion and sanitizer, which is able to provide health and hygiene training to someone in need. So that all happened just a few months ago. Actually, it's nearly Exciting. a year ago now. It's crazy how quickly it goes and um, and we've been able to help through the, that we've been able to help um, 67,000 people receive access to safe water 62,000 people receive access to health and hygiene training and nearly 7,000 people receive access to um, food programs in developing countries and it all just came from a bunch of naive uni students sitting around going you know what <laughs> you know we spend so much money on this and there's so much need here I just to me our world obviously has so much injustice in it and there mm. is such a inequality um, yeah. in wealth yeah. and opportunity and, and so many different measures. And it's so easy to sit back and go, what can I do? I mean, I'm just little old me. I have, you know, what is if I can do something? I'm not like, you know, running World Vision or, you know, yeah, I'm not important. Yeah. And I think what's inspiring is that you guys who were not important, who didn't have any more opportunity or connection or knowledge than anyone else, yeah. just by getting into action, you yeah. know, you've made, you've impacted that thousands, tens and tens and tens of thousands. And, you know, and I know that number is going to end up in the millions. Like, you know, I'm sure you do too. We hope so. That is definitely our hope. Yeah. Because yeah. I just, it just goes to show we really all can make a difference, but yeah. we have to be committed to just trying yeah and um so today with where you're at with what is it as far as the future goes for you you know in your moments of self-doubt over the years you've learned a lot of different things yes. you know how do you plow on what is it that inspires you about the future yeah i think um you know i, I just recently came back from india um, and well, try not to get emotional. <laughs> and we, I, I got to see, you know, poverty like really firsthand, and got to see, I guess, the we saw a disaster area where people are in floods up to six months of the year, and it's something we can't really fathom. Like when we have floods here, maybe it's two weeks yeah. or something, and we yeah. have so much support from the government and the rest yeah. of Australia, and to be able to see what it's like to live in these, you know, dire situations, and to be able to look at what the future holds, if we've in only this short period of time being able to help so many people and it's you know really scaling up like what the impact is that we're going to be able to make in say the next five years and how many more people see when I mention these stats and these you know metrics I guess it sounds you know just like numbers but each number represents a person yeah. and each person has an individual story and it's those individual people yeah. in those big numbers I guess that are uh, their lives are being changed and then they've got an opportunity to be able to lift themselves out of poverty by just receiving safe water or access to health and hygiene training or yeah. whatever it is it helps them lift themselves out of poverty from that we take water for granted yeah we just yeah. we do we just take it for granted and even though australia has had its water issues we still we just take for granted that we can always just find fresh water to drink yeah and so many of the people but so many in the world just don't and that children yeah. die all the time yeah, because they right. don't have access to water mm -hmm. so so if you were being really courageous mm -hmm. with with as far as what you're doing mm -hmm. and the future what do you what would what do you see yourself doing just what is what does courage and being really really brave look like to you yeah, sure. I, I guess um, to me, it's stepping out and you know not being afraid of what people think around and and I guess taking risks as well. We took a really big risk last year when we launched our new food range and our body care range. We did a massive. It was a massive campaign that was a huge risk to us as a company. We could have lost everything that we'd built over the, that five years. But we decided if this does work, what's the impact that we're going to make? And so we did this big campaign where we 
publicly petitioned. Um, we, we asked people to get on board and through social media to petition Coles and Woolworths to stop the thank you range within their stores. Now it um, drew a lot of media attention. Um, we got a few celebrities involved and people in the industry were like, you guys are crazy. Like, do you realize what you're setting yourself up for here? You know, like we were potentially setting ourselves up for the biggest public base plant there ever was, you know, like risking everything that we had. And, um, but we were like, well, you know, for the sake of what could actually happen if this does work, if mm-hmm. Cosmo Wars do take it on board. And they, thankfully, after meeting with them within a few hours, they both came back and said, we want to stock it out nationally. Mm-hmm which is crazy and to see from where we were when we launched last year which was about August or something last year to where we are now we've been able to help 62,000 people receive health and hygiene training and nearly 7,000 people with access to food just within that period of what nine months or something so um yeah and and if we hadn't have stepped out and taken that step like it would just be a hard slog trying to get it in and trying to go through it just yeah I mean it was sort of like doubling up wasn't it you bet it's just like let's just lay all on the line here yeah and I mean I commend you for just taking that risk because obviously a lot of people wouldn't they'd be cautious and go oh and then again they'd never have got to where you were at at that point anyway but I think there holds um to me a really important lesson on risk taking too yeah because from my my experience and um research is as humans, we are wired to focus on what we have to lose more than mm. what we have to gain. Wow. So when we're assessing, do yeah. we take a risk or not? We tend to focus more on, this is what I could lose. We could yeah. lose everything we've worked for yeah. versus what could we gain? We could gain, we could just completely blow this out of the water and take it to a whole other level. Yeah. And you guys kept your eye on that. This is what we could achieve if we yeah. do it versus... Oh, we, we could lose, lose everything exactly, which which yeah. was significant what you had to lose but it was yeah. like you know what we're willing to put that on the line and I think yeah. so often we losses loom larger than gains and we tend to just we we just magnify them in our own mind and imagination so yeah. overcoming that tendency and going I'm just going to do it anyway yeah. is such a powerful lesson for everyone whether it's in our just daily jobs or it's in relationships or you know just yeah. how we go about things instead of focusing on what we might lose think about what we could we can. gain by yeah. doing that yeah and I won't lie I was freaking out oh, no, no, no. <laughs> through the whole so journey yeah. totally freaking out like we we, um, we actually flew these um, we had a private donor sponsor a 10,000 meter square foot sign in both Melbourne and Sydney and it said hey Coles and the other one said hey Woolworths um, thank you for changing the world with us and then in brackets if you said yes yes and we carried it across the city in peak hour traffic and then around the head office of both Coles and Woolworths and I was sitting underneath like to try and take photos because it was it was carried by a plane or a helicopter. Yeah, a yeah. helicopter. Yeah, I know. So and I was sitting underneath, like freaking out, going, "What are we doing? Yeah. Um, this is crazy!" But um, thankfully, it was received really well, and it you know uh, achieved but the purpose that we wanted. It was to crazy, see. but that's what was so yeah. fantastic about it. It was so wild and crazy and unprecedented that I think people like, "Well, how can you say no to that?" <laughs> it's like the marriage proposal when I go all out. It's like. How can you say no to that? <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Well, I think your 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 experience and your journey holds so many um, lessons, but also so much inspiration for people. Regardless of whether or not they want to launch a social enterprise that's going to help get watered to hundreds of thousands of people or not, that in our own lives, you know, connecting with what we're passionate about, exactly, being yeah. willing to really own that and share it with people because then when we enroll other people in the conversations we're having yeah that creates the movement i mean a movement starts with you know two people sharing a passion about something and then it grows and grows and grows so but you've got to you've got to be willing to just share it own it and stick hold on to it tightly when things don't go well and you guys have done just that so my hat goes off to you Thank you. But thanks for sitting down with me for Raw Courage TV. I really appreciate it as I try and do what I'm passionate about. So it's just great to connect with other passionate people. It, it's a contagious thing being passionate. So, you know, when you're with people, it just infuses you with it. So thanks. No worries. Thanks for having me. Pleasure.